What do we have here? Picked up a little project. Something a little different than the quads and dirt bikes. This thing is a 2003 Dazen, I believe that's how you pronounce it, uh, moped, 49cc with title. Picked it up for 200 bucks from a dealership. I guess the guy got it in for a trade-in and uh, he uh, just had it sitting in the back. But as you can see, it's in pretty decent shape. Last registered in 14. Holy cow. So eight years ago. But it does have compression. At least I think. It doesn't run. You can see all the dust on it from sitting so long. It's got 1,960 miles on it, which isn't too much for a moped. Not much at all. It does have the mirrors on it still. It has the key with it. What has it got in here? It has a horn, blinkers, high and low for the lights. Um, actually, I think that might be high and low. What would that be? That might be the gauge lights, actually. An on off. Electric start, brakes, muffler still on it, that's good. There's the oil dipstick right there, blinkers are still on it. Yeah, it looks complete. Kickstand is still on it right there. Ooh, what's underneath here? Looks like they're trying to work on it. Here's a fuse box for it. Looked like they were trying to get some spark. There's a little battery right there for it. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It just needs a good cleaning. Here's the seat. Alright, here's some paperwork. Manual, user manual. It was last registered in doesn't say the date. Paid in full, 60 bucks. Let's see what he bought. Uh, replace broken light switch. Um, AMS oil synthetic gear lube. AMS oil synthetic motor oil. 180 mile service performed this date in accordance with Dazen recommendations. So he paid 80 bucks. I'm sure you guys without uh, putting his information on here. So it looks like $14.99 was the purchase price, sales tax of $74, uh, and then you've got the title fee of $25, license plate fee of $7. So the, so the total came to about mm, around $1,600 bucks for this thing. So brand new, $1,600, which isn't cheap. So hopefully we can get this thing running today. Um, and then we've got the toolkit in here. So that's kind of cool. Let's see what comes in the toolkit. So it looks like somebody took really good care of this thing. A couple wrenches in there, screwdriver. It's <laughs> kind of cool. So this was like barely driven. I mean, that's that's not a lot of miles on this thing. So hopefully we can get this thing running again and driving again and uh, get it all figured out. All right, let's take a look at the battery here first. It looks like you've got the positive and negative leads going to it. Um, is this a 12 volt battery? I'm gonna have to look that up and see. You would think it would be 12 volt because you need to turn over a motor and usually 6 volt can't uh, crank over an engine. So let's um, put that on the charger and see if that charges up a bit. Alright, so the battery is in fact 12 volts. We've got it on the charger right here, but uh, it's blinking red so it looks like the battery is junk. So we'll give that a little bit more time just to see if it uh, turns on here, but 
I think that battery is going to be toast. But uh, we can hook up the jumper to it and see if we get anything for spark. Um, looks like the fuse is good in there yet. So, I guess we'll hook up the jumper. Ooh, looks like a wire was cut right here for the CDI. Huh, I wonder if that's the problem right there. Wouldn't that be something? Huh, wonder why that's cut. It's a ground wire, that's important. Going into the CDI. Let's just get this back in here. We'll get the jumper pack on this thing. see what happens. Turn the key on and the gauge is going up. Nothing else is turning on though. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I think the blinkers are working. That's weird that it has sound though. Kind of annoying. Headlight must only work if you have it running, I'm guessing. Yep, headlight only works if you have it running. Let's see if the starter works. You might need to have the brake held in here. Yep, starter works. Does the back light work here? I guess those probably only work if you've got the uh, thing running. See if the blinkers work in the back. Yep. Okay, sweet, those both work. So it's just the lights that don't work and I think those will turn on once you get it running. So that's awesome, at least it turns on. Everything's good in that regard. Let's um, try to get to the spark plug and see what's going on with that. I also want to see if this thing locks back here. That's why that whole thing comes off. They were working on this thing for sure. That's why it wasn't connecting. There we go. Now we've got access to the engine here. Spark plug is going to be right in here. I guess we'll see if we have spark. Oh man. On there. All right, let's try to. I guess we could just take this whole thing off. There we go. All right, so the spark plug is right in here. Let me just see if the carburetor is all good to go. Looks like it was leaking a little bit right in there. If you look. Guess we should probably check the gas tank too. See if there's anything in there. See if there's any gas in here. Oh yeah, there's gas in there. So let's leave that off for now. All right, let's get to that spark plug. So I'm guessing we have a no spark situation here. That's probably why it didn't start. Looks like it's getting fuel, and it looks like we've got compression. Alright, 
is the plug. It actually looks really good, nice and brown at the tip. A little carbon on it, but not too bad. Let me get a little um, WD-40 down the cylinder here. What do we got going on for spark here? We'll try the electric start and the kick start to see if we have anything. All right, here we go. Oh, there's spark. Huh, there's good spark. What the heck, this thing might fire up. I was expecting it not to have spark. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Um, I'm going to connect that wire right there anyway, because I feel like that's a problem. That should not be disconnected. So let's strip those and get a connection on there before we go any further. And then I'm going to um, see if there's any gas coming out of here, because maybe it is a fuel problem. Alright, I've got this black wire I'm going to attach and connect the bridge between that green wire and that green wire. For some reason that was caught. I'm not really sure why, but that connects right to the CDI, so I don't really like that too much. Um, we'll solder this together here. So we get a strong connection. Alright, and then we'll connect the other end of it here. All right, let's see if we still have good spark after fixing that problem with the cut wire. Let's see here, we're done. All right, that still works. Yeah, see before the spark wasn't consistent, it would go, stop, go, stop, and now, check that out. It's consistent, so I think that was the problem. <laughs> That will be awesome if that was the problem. All right, um, let's, I guess, throw the spark plug back in and give it a whirl. It might actually just start up just like that. All right, let's see if she fires up here. Let's not be getting gas. So let's get this filter off of here. Let's see if any gas is getting pumped into there. Let's see if anything pumps up. Yeah, it's definitely pumping gas to it. Because it might be really bad gas. Mm. I mean, not the greatest in the world. 
Let's check the air filter. I'm gonna take this off too, the boot, to the carburetor. We're just gonna manually put some gas down there. We'll see here. Maybe there's like a mouse living in here or something. Still in there. Take that out for now. I'm gonna take this whole thing off too. Let's see what's connected by that bolt right there. Get you here. Pretty gummed up in there. All right, let's uh, just manually spray some gas down the carburetor and see if it pops over. Let's see if that did anything. So it definitely needs a carb clean. Let's get that carburetor off, clean that up, and um, I think that'll fix it. First here. Line off. Is that everything? Yeah, the carb was leaking pretty bad. Look at down there. All right, let's take a peek on the inside. See what's going on. The gas that came out of it was horrible. I'm guessing it's not going to be too good. Here we go, moment of truth. Let's see how bad this thing is. Oh, it's not too bad, but uh, I think all the jets are clogged. As you can see that's not horrible in there. We'll still spray it out and everything, but. Doesn't look that bad. See how the needle is? Still pretty rubbery. That's open. Main jet is open. What size do we have for the main jet? Looks like an 85 for the main. Here's the pilot. 
This is definitely going to be plugged up. Yeah, that's heavily plugged. That's why that uh, wasn't starting. Without gas being pumped down it. Yeah, that's really plugged up. Let's see what size. This is a key hen. 35. Alright, let's get the rest of this cleaned up here. Oh, here's a little uh, screw on the side. Let's see what this is at. One. Two. Three. Right, like three turns out. See what the diaphragm looks like as well. Hopefully, no cracks in this at all. Spring in there. Yeah, it looks good. Needles on there. All right, good. Diaphragm looks good as well. All right, carburetor's all clean. Put back on. We're going to drain out the gas tank now. So we'll hook this up and drain this out. Let's see if we can drain her here. Is she coming out? Feels pretty dark. Fuel tank is drained, let's get some fresh gas in there. All right, let's see if she starts up now. this thing running. Looks like the lights are working now. Cool. Backlight work. Yep. Oh, and it died. Why did it die? Huh. That's weird.
All right, we're gonna get the rest of the air box back on. All that fun stuff. Idle might be a little bit low. Maybe that's why it's dying. All right, this is where the oil is for it. Let's see what that looks like. Some on there. Very small amount. Yeah, there's oil in it, so that's good. I'm gonna get the air box back on, and then we'll let this thing run for a bit. All right, let it run for a bit, and it's running pretty good. I also fixed the seat, so now that's latched down. So you can lock stuff in there, and the key works for it now. So let's um, clean this thing up a bit. You can see it's pretty dirty from sitting. Let's get some uh, WD-40 out and uh, clean this thing up. All right, so see how the plastic's kind of faded right here? And if you spray WD-40 on it, it you know it gets better for a little bit because it's hydrating it, but then it just goes away once it evaporates. Um, there's a product that I bought that's supposed to fix this problem. So let's try it. This is what it is. So this is the product. It's called Shine and Go um, Motul. So I guess we'll try that out and see if that works. You're supposed to just spray it on and let it sit for a minute. Let's see what happens here. I'll spray the yellow too a little bit. Doesn't hurt. All right, we'll come back in a minute, wipe it off, and uh, see if it stays like that. All right, it's been about a minute. Just wipe it off. So, all the black is now hydrated, looking pretty good, nothing looks faded on it anymore. I will leave a link in the description for that as well. Alright, we just got a brand new battery for this thing. Let's see if we can install that next. Alright, let's go like this.
All right, let's see if that new battery can crank it over. Hopefully it can. stand down that's why I wasn't starting right away but uh, yeah runs good let's go take this thing for a ride Let's take a little ride on the moped. Thing's pretty fun actually. I think we got it to 30 last time. Let's see if we can hit 35. Pretty good pickup for a 49cc. Let's see here. Go this way. See how fast we can get going here. Twenty-five. We'll go down to the stop sign. Twenty-seven. Almost hit 30 right there. Way back should be faster. Let's see here. We're not going against the wind. What does this thing get like 100 miles per gallon? Oh yeah, we hit 30. Thing goes pretty good. <laughs> All right, first ride went uh, great. This thing runs flawlessly. Not a single issue with it now. Um, starts right up. 
drives perfectly, super smooth, gets up to speed fast, brakes work, lights work, blinkers work. I think it's pretty solid. So I've got about 250 bucks into it because of the battery. And um, I'll probably just keep this thing. It's nice to have a little moped. <laughs> and, and it does have a title. So just have to get the title in my name and then uh, we can go rip this around in the streets. <laughs> I don't know if I'd really want to be seen on it, but maybe out in the country on those roads, it'd be fine to ride. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of the yellow, but well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video on this thing, getting it back running, um, finding the issue, which was that green wire that was pulled out by the battery. And then, yeah, saving this thing from the dealership's uh, scrap pile where they had this thing laying. So, anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. If you guys wanna go check out my Instagram, it's two underscore vintage underscore. And uh, I'll have the link for that product that I used in this thing to clean up the black. You can see how nice that looks now. It's not all faded. I'll have that link in the description. Um, it's just an Amazon link, so stay tuned for next video. And until next time, we are out.